Hey, Professor Fields here. We're into chapter three, and we're going to talk about module learning outcome 3.4, describing the importance of the retention and promotion of minorities and women in law enforcement careers. You know, one thing that's commonly said is people don't leave organizations, they leave supervisors. In other words, if you have a poor supervisor, you're more likely to leave the organization than if you have a good supervisor. So supervisors are the backbone when it comes to retention and promotion of a diverse workforce. In order for an employee to be successful in an organization, you need to develop and enhance their skills. Several ways to do this, uh, and I'll talk about them later on, but one of them is mentorship. Most employees that have a mentor that show them the way uh, have a better chance of promoting. Uh, usually it's a mentor that's been through the same experiences, so if you've got a female employee, to have a female mentor would be a great idea. Also, there's certain training uh, exercises you can do, certain training courses you can take which will help you promote or to move to a, a better position within your organization. For example, you want to be detective, there's a thing called the POST, which is Peace Officer Standards and Training and, um, Institute for Criminal Investigation. So you send an employee to that and it becomes an investigator. They also have leadership organizations such as the Post Supervisory Leadership Institute or Command College. Now if you don't help an employee get their promotion, they're going to leave and go someplace else. Another thing is the glass ceiling. So what is that glass ceiling? They call it the glass ceiling because it's invisible. It's not there, but it's actually there. What the glass ceiling is, is a perception among a lot of people that they're not going to be able to get above a certain point in the organization because everybody else above them is, it looks different than they do. So you need to eliminate that glass ceiling. And one of the ways you do that is actually to start promoting people of a diverse background. My apologies for that interruption. The guy next to me in the next room started drilling a hole in the wall. Anyway, employees uh, became become disenchanted when they believe that certain people in the organization are getting promoted and others aren't. Especially when it becomes clear that only the uh, certain groups are getting promoted, such as white males, which is, happens to be the case in a lot of different organizations. you got to say that got connections, and that's one of the ways to promote is to get connections. And sometimes if you don't have the right connections, you're never going to get promoted. So what's the answer? The answer is leadership. you got to have strong supervision. Supervision that embraces diversity, that embraces the, uh, the workforce, treats people equally, and makes people want to come to work. Uh, you may have, in your lifetime, worked for a great supervisor, and you may have worked for some really poor supervisor. I know I have. I have. Uh, those of you who recall, I've retired as a watch commander, so I had leadership and supervisory experience in my during my career and I took the best from the good leaders and ignored the stuff from the bad leaders again mentoring if you have a mentorship program developed that's great if you don't remember that exercise I had you do last week about looking at the different organizations they have mentoring Latino Police Officers Association Noble uh, the women in law enforcement all those have mentoring programs to help develop leaders in law enforcement agencies those training and development assignments uh, could be to detective work, could be to uh, acting supervisor work, and then also sending them to the special classes such as the Supervisory Leadership Institute and other things like that. And last but not least, but addressing any time that an officer complains that there is some discriminatory processes going on or they're not getting the right assignments they need to promote, take those complaints seriously. A lot of supervisors are lazy. And you may notice that in your career. A lot of supervisors are lazy and they won't investigate the complaints, or a lot of them won't acknowledge there's a problem. They'll say, hey, you know what, there's no problem here, and they won't even look at it. And there's that guy drilling again, so that's a good time to stop the tape.